All right, <clears throat> today, back on the clay. I'm gonna take her face off. I've done this before, it's not, it's, it's scary, but I've done it before. Uh, I just hope I don't have the armature under the clay coming out too close to the front, because that could interfere with me taking the face off and I'd have to re-sculpt it. But then I'm going to uh, put it on this board uh, I've got these two screws almost all the way through, but not quite so that the clay has something to grab onto. And I'm going to work on the face on this board. So, be right back. Time to play with some clay. First thing I do is I need, need to warm up the blade so that it will cut through the clay easily. Now I want to heat up the uh, two nails or the two screw heads that uh, I've got in here. And I want to push this down gently. We go. Have I ever mentioned uh, that sculpting is not for the weak of heart? <laughs> yeah, I can see some differences in the cheek area. between the other side, so it's good to do this. It just gives me more control, that's all.
right, I've got the uh, base ready to go back on the clay. It's just a matter of lining it up. Yeah, those eyes look a lot better now. Sometimes you have to take drastic actions to correct things. looks a lot better now. Okay, this is one of the tedious parts of sculpting. Making the belt and plotting out where I'm going to put the uh, little clay, clay balls that will re represent uh, brass tacks on the uh, belt. And it's one of the tedious things that uh, when you're doing sculptures like this. And uh, I do tedious very well. <laughs> Now, about 45 minutes later, I'm almost done with the belt, but then I've got to go back and smooth out the lines that I've made to keep everything straight and uniform. And then I gotta make the buckle and the uh, I plotted out the uh, exact spot where the uh, buckle would be right in the center of her back. So, got that plotted out. Now I use my ball tool to clean out between each tack. Yeah, I know that's a lot of tedious work. I'm putting a, a piece of round clay underneath the uh, strap or the belt because uh, it would be raised in the center okay now I'm gonna make the uh, buckle go that looks good now that uh, you got the uh, tacks all the same distance between each one one thing at a time good night everybody see you next time if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.